Well, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to Matrix Live Season 3, Episode 15, I believe, where we are staring rather blankly at Andrew's <laughs> uh, Visual Studio Code, looking beautifully beige. We're doing something completely different this week, and the context is uh, on the last Friday of every month, we try to have a kind of demo of all the cool random things which have been going on um, internally. And we thought it might be fun to kind of combine it with Matrix Live. This in no way reflects the fact that we had no idea what to do for Matrix Live and decided to double it up with this. But to consider it Matrix Live in front of a live studio audience. Um, so, yeah, I think Andrew, or I know, as many probably you know, um, you're up. Right. Well, what I have been working on for the past few days in my spare time has been Push to Talk in Riot, which I wanted to bring on a few months ago, but it got um, unfortunately delayed on getting a Windows build server up and running. But now that we have that... Um, so, so what build server are we using? So we're using a Mac sitting over there. Obviously. Windows in VirtualBox. Um, nice. So yeah, pretty much straight Windows. And um, now that that exists, I was able to update the push to talk code and bring it into the Riot redesign. So that's currently what you'll see. Um, the UI is still back from old Riot, so expect it to not be great looking. Um, but like, it's just a little ugly thing in a beautiful shell. So, you know, um, yeah, it should be uh, hopefully completed the new UI um, soon after this, but just for demo purposes, we're going with the old one. So when you say push to talk, what are we talking about? Good point. So push to talk, um, which applications like Discord and Mumble have, um, and TeamSpeak, is basically where you can set up a shortcut on your computer, um, and when you're in game or doing something else other than looking at Riot, um, you can click this shortcut and it will broadcast your mic, and then when you release the shortcut, your mic will cut off. And this is really useful for um, big conversations with a lot of people when you just want to unmute yourself, um, possibly while you're working, uh, only when you need to say something. So a lot of communities have come to us and said that they use this, and they use this currently in their existing applications, and they really want it in Riot. So that's why we're, why we're implementing it. So I mean, so for context, this is really literally real-time broadcast to a group voice conference. It's not record an, uh, a voice message and chuck it into the room as an attachment. Yeah, Which hopefully is the thing that everybody gets confused about this. Right, OK. So my definition of push to talk in discords and other ones um, is in a real-time conversation. So since we have Jitsi as our conferencing software, um, this integrates with Jitsi. And you'll notice a new field in the voice and video. Um, yeah, UI is still a work in progress, but you can enable this push to talk feature and you can go ahead and set an actual shortcut for it. So I can set as many keys as I want on this shortcut. Um, Literally, oh, listen, simultaneously, <laughs> this is <laughs> shift oh, okay. head ban your homework. And also, I have i3, which has alt as open a terminal. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, um, so let's go ahead and set a sensible shortcut and hope my computer can handle many terminals open. Yes, right. so shift Control X. Control delete or something? Or? Yeah, that sounds good. At least it's not Windows. So we go ahead and set our shift X as our shortcut. And then I'm going to set up a Jitsi conference in this test room. So give it a minute and... Here we have Jitsi. We'll go and join. I love that we're Jitsi over Jitsi. <laughs> and the only Jitsi's deep can we nest. Let's find out. Right. So um, right here is my conference. So by default, the um, whether the mic is enabled or not depends on what your right setup. By default, we have it as enabled, but we could go ahead and switch that if we'd like. But if I go ahead and hit my Shift X shortcut, you should see. Yay. As the UI gets there, yes, the mic turns on. If I let go of it, the mic turns off. Now, normally this isn't that notable, but when you have um, one of the big issues with implementing this was getting it to work outside of Riot. Um, so if I go ahead and stick Riot over here, and I open up terminal over here, and I stick that on the right, right. So now we have a window that is not Riot. And you know, I don't want. I want to still be able to type Shift X, right? So uh, what you'll notice is when I do so, like my mic turns on and off, and you can see it just here. Um, yeah, 
So push to talk works even if you're in another window. And it does that doing, uh, using a native node module, which is why we had to uh, build natively on Windows rather than just cross-compiling, which is what we normally do. So this is insanely cool. So you're basically gaming away on your amazing rogue-based, um, text-based adventure, roguelike, I should say, on the right-hand um, side. And it's picking up keyboard shortcuts and changing your mute in real time. Yeah, exactly. So um, basically, you've turned right into one of the world's biggest um, key loggers imaginable. Yes, now it is important to note that it only logs your keys when you have this enabled and when you're in a Jitsi conference. So and it only enabled, does the keys which you've defined, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, and by default, it's set in Electron's config. So even if there's an XSS, we can't change this. Um, it can only listen to one key shortcut at a time. So you can't just log arbitrary keys. Cool. Yeah, so that's my demo. Thank that was you. cool. I, I think, honestly, that's going to make the Discord crew um, very, very I happy. hope so. A lot of people have been asking for this, and it'll be really nice to actually finally get it out there. So I'm sure there's going to be some crazy alternative use case for it, some random sub-community of Matrix people who desperately need push to talk to coordinate their search and rescue or their, um, I don't know, remote keyhole surgery. Or honestly, I doing. have no idea, but this is why we do it for those random people. So. Yeah. Cool. Any questions from anybody? We actually got remote people. Yeah, good question. Good question. So the problem was um, we were building this on Mac OS, but to actually build this native node module, you have to build it natively on the platform. So to support Mac and Linux and Windows, you have to actually build Riot on Mac and Linux and Windows. And currently, Riot was mostly just built on Mac OS because it was all in JavaScript, so it could be done so. But now that we're adding native node modules for both this and spell checking, hopefully soon, um, we're going to have to have Windows, Mac, and Linux slaves. And Mac and Linux weren't too bad, but the problem is our, our build system couldn't really handle Windows. So now we've got a new one set up in Jenkins, and um, yeah, it should all be good. So yeah, this feature does support both Mac, Linux, and Windows. Um, so yeah, no worries. I mean, presumably, the problem is that we could have built it all on Mac OS using Wine for Windows and. Maybe, possibly. This is C, so. Mm, probably would be all right, but. I mean, besides basically how we did the Electron builds already with the native Electron builder. Mm. Um, and it does have the advantage that anybody, not that I've ever squeezed out an Electron build on a, like, a plane or a taxi or something from my Mac, thinking, oh my god, it's cool, I can generate Win64 binaries from my Mac. I mean, that's kind of cool, but I guess also having proper build servers at last for all three platforms would be Yeah, really I nice. don't know. If anything, it, it's a nice thing to have um, just in the long term, so I'm glad we went ahead and did it. Cool. I think we'd also like to automate builds of Electron yep. as well, so having the, yeah. uh, the three types in Jenkins would be great. Certainly. It's the destiny of all <laughs> spare laptops sitting around the office to eventually be turned into a build form. Cool, that's really awesome. Okay, half shot. Are you still there? We've lost your um, avatar. We've got audio from you. Perfect. We've got a beautiful paint avatar in the absence of any video. Uh, or, as long as we can hear you, it's good enough. Um, so what have you been up to? Indeed. Oh, let me go and switch to HQ. So um, I'll go and try demoing it um, from here. Um, here is my actual like, Riot um, account here. And you can already see people messing around with XMPP on it. And so, yeah, just to reiterate, I mean, we've been doing a lot of demos of the XMPP bridging. And each time we've got a little bit more. But this one really is cool. So you've got a half shot there on the XMPP side talking in um, to Riot. And you can see it has this beautiful XMPP um, base Jabber ID, which has been encoded into uh, MXID. Um, but what's it look like from the um, XMPP side? If I look at Adium, ah, Adium eventually joined. So here we go. So this is literally um, Adium, which is the Mac OS version of Pigeon, basically, um, showing what this looks like with Matrix HQ with however many thousands of users in it. It's like 5,000 users. 
There is a small chance Adia might have crashed for about 10 minutes whilst it joined the room. But now that it's in the room, we've even got memberships up, and I can uh, wave from Adia. And let's see whether that manages to get through or not. Oh, so there I am joining in the room because we lazy load memberships in, and you've got me waving from Adia. And then I look here, I've got um, Gadgem or Gagem. Do we know how it's pronounced? So it's Gadget. Okay, we can say Gadget. We're going to be you know, the Northern um, uh, Vowel. And um, this is a Python um, uh, XMPP client, which works um, cross platform, which is why it's looking a little bit weird relative to Adium. But this actually joined really quickly and works really, really well. Um, and uh, you know, I can wait from Gadget too. Oh, we've got typing notifications coming in there, which is pretty cool. So let's see what happens if we go and try to join somewhere new. So join a group chat, and the way the syntax of these things from XMPP is let's try matrix dev. What can possibly go wrong is that you do hash matrix dash dev, and then a hash rather than a colon, and then an at, um, and then the, that was cool. And the server is bridge dot matrix uh, dot XMPP dot matrix. Yep, there we go. I don't. Let's get rid of my ugly surname. And hit join, and let's see. The race is on. <laughs> Somewhere out there, there's a little bit Let me go over to the matrix dev here. And we've got um, somebody talking about the totality of all software ever written. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Are there any Bifrost logs we can look at? Can I go and... Really? Mm -hmm. Uh, what would be a good one? Um, something I guess anywhere in anywhere in Matrix. Okay, let's go and disconnect from that one then. Uh, except I think to actually disconnect, you have to do that. Is that... Okay, let's try that. Uh, okay, so join a new group chat and what's the room again? It's uh, what bridge dot matrix dot x and pp. Uh, sorry, x and pp dot matrix all room. Um, and the room is li literally just hash modular um, on matrix.org. Okay, let's try this one. Never do live demos. Never work with children. It go bang. Boo. We can try it from Adam, perhaps. That's right. Okay. Let's see whether that one's any happier. Yeah. Well, the good news is we can see that it works on HQ at least, but we're still possibly ironing out some of the details when it comes to going and actually dropping rooms over it. Um, but the, honestly, the fact that we can get into here on Adium and that the uh, next being bridged and the uh, and typing notifications and things are being bridged is pretty cool. Um, cool. Any questions about um, any of this from anyone? Now we're going to leave this up then. HP yeah. Bridged. Very cool. Okay. I see even Eurig got in on the XMPP side. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I think we should leave it up. I mean, it's not an official service. <clears throat> They're complaining about the memory. Oh, because we've got so many people on the room. Oops. Well, it's not a problem. Oh, well. I think so. <laughs> cool. Well, um, congrats, Southshot, on getting this together. I mean, obviously, we need to find some way to make it a little bit more reliable on joins, but the fact that people are getting in shows that it can work to some extent. Um, and unless we have any other questions, I think that might be it in terms of demos. Cool. Well, there we go. Random dev with time. Random matrix live. <laughs> Everybody have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye.